So now Ron Paul is supposed to be, what, some kind of racist? I got dozens and dozens and dozens of links to a video dealing with the time that you were a physician. This was a, a black fellow whose wife was in distress uh, giving birth and they were having trouble finding a doctor who was willing to give them service and by implication because he was black and she was uh, a white lady that she was having trouble finding a, an emergency physician. Here's the sound of some of this. It was uh, between 1972 and 73, but it was still a lot of prejudice around this area. My wife was sick and I was trying to get some attention for her. Nobody came to check. They just left her there. Well, I believe I was left there because of the difference, uh, me being black and her being white. and. Every time I would say something to her head nurse, she would get pretty upset. And then she finally called the uh, Freeport Police Department, said I was harassing her. And I mean, I, I didn't know anything to do. Well, then Ron Paul come to my rescue. He just stepped in and went to work with my wife. And after he seen her, uh, i say no more than 10 minutes later, she had a stillborn boy child. And he said as far as the bill, he would take care of everything, which he did. I never got a bill from the hospital or anything. And he was a doctor of medicine and that's what he was doing, was practicing medicine. And it didn't matter who and what and why. That was, that's an amazing story. Wow. I can see that, was, that kind of an emotional effect on you. Yeah, it did. Um, it was sort of touching thinking about, uh, you know, sometimes you get banged over the head mercilessly and you think, oh boy, you know, they're making me sound like I'm a terrible person. I just saw this a little, a little while ago. It wasn't put out by our campaign. Okay. I'm amazed at how they found that. If you would have asked me to go back and find somebody like that, I wouldn't know. That is what I thought my responsibilities were, but I never had the uh, knowledge of how grateful he was, you know, and to me that's magnificent. After you know. all this time. Racism is a collectivist idea. It's that you put people in category. You say, well, blacks belong here and whites here and women here. And we don't see people in forms or, or, or gays. You don't have rights because you're gays or women or minority. You have rights because you're an individual. So it's exactly opposite of all collectivism, and it's absolutely anti racism. I would like to believe that if we have a freer society it will take care of blacks and whites and everybody equally because we're all individuals and to me that is so important. A system designed to protect individual liberty will have no punishments for any group and no privileges. Today I think inner city folks uh, and minorities are punished unfairly in the war on drugs. For instance, uh, blacks make up 14% of those who use drugs, yet 36% of those arrested are blacks, and it ends up that 63% of those who finally end up in prison are blacks. This has to change. We don't have to have more courts and more prisons. We need to repeal the whole war on drugs. It isn't working. But I keep telling myself, truth wins out. The truth wins out in the end. And, uh, I think if I can make mistakes, and, and uh, but if I'm telling the truth, eventually truth comes around. You know, whether it's sound money or the foreign policy or, or whatever, if, if you honestly believe it's the truth, I, I think you'll eventually win. Uh, and in some ways, I, I think we're starting to win some of these fights right now, and uh, the people are starting to listen because our country is in such, uh, such dire trouble. YouTube has so changed the way politics is done. There's no place for anybody to hide anymore. You can't deliver one message to one group of people and then go across town and deliver the opposite message anymore and get away with it. The only other thing that we should do is you and others should look at all my other statements in my defense of civil liberties and race relations. Believe me, if anybody cared about it, all they have to do is go to the internet. And the defense is honest and straightforward, and you will get an honest assessment of my views on race relations. And that's all I ask for people to do.